As we continue to update you on the number of cases in Florida, we do turn to the state's health department website, which updates us twice a day. Now, you will find a wealth of information which goes well beyond the numbers. CBS 4's Jim Barry is in the newsroom to continue our team coverage. Jim? Well, guys, the numbers have gone up, but if there's a silver lining, the rate of new cases may be slowing. We can only hope that's a trend. All right, as we look at the map here, statewide, we see the number of cases of coronavirus in Florida has now inched above 13,000. Most of those cases involve people actually living in the state of Florida, 399 cases involving non-residents. Of all of these, nearly 1,600, about 12%, have required hospitalization. And as we click on the counties individually, we see that, as has been the case from the outset, South Florida accounting for most of these cases, more than 4,400 cases now in Miami-Dade County, and more than 2,000 cases in Broward County. 46 people have died in Broward County. It is now second in the state to Palm Beach County because of a recent surge in the past day. Palm Beach County now has 49 people who have passed away from coronavirus. In Miami-Dade County, the death toll stands at 38. Another interesting feature about this website is that it breaks down the number of coronavirus cases by county. And as we see, if we look at South Florida, Miami-Dade and Broward, we can see some of the so-called hot spots. And in Miami-Dade, for example, we see that Pinecrest, Coral Gables and Sunset, farther south in Cutler Bay, Perrine and South Miami. Then as we come north, we see Hialeah as another area that is listed in red as a so-called hotspot. In Broward County, Davie, Southwest Ranches, and Pembroke Pines, also Lauderdale Lakes, Oakland Park and Plantation. But bear in mind, all of these areas have major hospitals, and because of their reporting, the zip codes in those areas may indicate more cases simply because of that. And I want to add that Miami-Dade has launched a new random testing program with the University of Miami. 750 people will be randomly tested for each of the next five weeks. The hope that we get a better roadmap of exactly where this virus is here and how better to get it under control. In the newsroom, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 News. Jim, thank you. And a reminder about Florida's hotline to answer your questions about coronavirus. It is open 24-7. The phone number is there on your screen. There's also an email address you can send questions to. That is covid-19 at flhealth.gov.